This is Twit. 8888-ASK-LEO, the phone number. Todd is in Indianapolis. Hey, Todd. Hey, how's it going, Leo? It's great. How are you? Oh, I'm doing fine. You know, uh, Indianapolis is going to be on the path of totality next time. Oh, nice. Maybe I'll come to Indy. Yeah, it's a good place to be. In 2024. So, yes. February or uh, April 8th. Oh, you already planning. <laughs> yes, nice. I am. <laughs> yeah, we this was it was interesting to see how much interest there was in the eclipse. It was a big deal, wasn't it? I, people were really excited about it. I love that. That's fun. I was excited for it since 1979 when the last one happened. So. Yeah, there you go. You've been waiting 18 years or 17 years. Yeah, 19 years. What can I do for you today? Well, I'm totally blind, and I uh, put together a... Well, wait a minute time. now. What, so for you, the eclipse is all about the atmosphere, I guess. Yes. I used to be able to see, so I kind of remember the event itself. But interesting. But, uh, I mean, in some ways, though, you're, it would be an interesting experience for you because the, the air changes, the sound changes, the people, mm -hmm. the reaction. The shared experience. It'd be a very interesting experience. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. That's another way to appreciate the eclipse. Close your eyes. Yeah, be aware of what's around you yeah. at all times. We're so focused at what it looks like and at the pictures and so forth, we might be missing something else. All yeah, right. If you can see what I hear. <laughs> exactly. So uh, what can uh, I do for you? Well, I built a Raspberry Pi, and nice. I've uh, put Raspbian on a 32-gigabyte flash drive. Okay, you're um, a geek. And I'm lost on finding text-to-speech software. Oh, oh, yeah, of course. Raspbian is an open source, uh, it's a version of Debian, the Linux, uh, open source Linux operating system. And all, most of the screen readers people use, like JAWS, are proprietary and designed for Windows, or they use the built-in voiceover in Windows or Apple's uh, voiceover. There, is, there are a couple of open source projects. I don't know if they'd run on a Raspberry Pi. They might. One is called Orca. Which is kind Orca. of a, a takeoff on Jaws, I think, because Orca is a killer whale. And so there's an open source screen reader called Orca. And I think actually they, it's a, what we call a retronym, which is they thought of the name and then they tried to figure out what ORCA could stand for. <laughs> which is, I could see that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty typical. It's free. It's open source. Uh, it would work on Big Boy Debian. Whether it'll work on Raspbian is another issue. Although I bet you... There is a there's there's probably somewhere a group trying to make it work on Raspbian because a Raspberry Pi is a thirty five dollar computer and if you could get Orca working on a Raspberry Pi now now you'd have something wouldn't you Yeah well my way of cheating around that initially is uh, running it headless and logging in into it through a device oh, that can support screen reading yeah, There you go that's another way to do it um, There's also N NVDA which is a Free screen reader for Windows. I don't know if that's available on. There is Debian. Orca, Orca, Orca will run on Debian. Let me see on the Raspberry Pi forums uh, if anybody's got it uh, working. It's in the it's in the Debian repositories, so I bet you you could. Um, yes, yes. Uh, somebody's saying they did get it working on a Raspberry Pi. The limitations are screen readers require a significant amount of processing power because you're running a program and the screen reader. Uh, they may, may require some RAM as well. Uh, and, a, and, of course, a Raspberry Pi is constrained in terms of processor power. But, golly, they're so powerful now that I bet you could do it. All right. Well, thanks for your help. Yeah. ORC. And by the way, yeah. first time listener, long time, or for, long time listener for some time. <laughs> LT, <laughs> LTLFTC. Okay. I got to get all these, I got to get all these uh, acronyms right. Hey, it's great to talk to you. Thanks for listening. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, Orca is, I, I want to really support Orca because uh, screen readers, commercial screen readers like JAWS are thousands of dollars. I think the ex expectation is, well, insurance will pay for it, uh, so we don't have to worry about how much it costs. But, but uh, having an open source free one is a great idea. That would empower so many people.